Being against Tom, it helped me out because it gave me something all week to sort of focus on. It was almost like a distraction. Like I got to take some of the focus off what I was doing and was paying attention to Tom Watson's story because I was interested. When I got about six holes from the finish, it was time to get going and then I kind of got a little nervous, you know, because like Freddie said, I get nervous too. I get, I'm a pretty nervous player and in fact the whole week I had a lot of things going for me to take nerves away. It's a good sign for you to sort of take a deep breath and slow it down and I came there with no expectations. My game had stunk all year. I had just switched from the long putter to the short putter about five tournaments before that and completely rebuilt all my putting. My routine and everything just started over from scratch. We had worked really hard on really focusing on the routine and not the results. I had a big smile on my face and I remember asking him, uh, I said, Frank, you remember that routine we've been working on? He goes, yeah. And I said, uh, you think now's a good time to abandon it? He goes, no, I don't think so. <laughs> as soon as I cracked the joke, I had a smile on my face and I walked in the putt, do the routine, and you know, the ball couldn't have gone more in the middle of the hole. And it was such a great feeling you know, for someone who's really nervous most of the time. It was just pure fun. I actually watched your playoff. I saw Lehman there too, and I was yeah. like, God, even my friends are out here rooting for Watson. <laughs> <laughs> well, we knew it was going to be history either way. 